My name is Colin, and I'm a student here at Penn State who enjoys golfing. Something that I've noticed while golfing at Penn State golf courses is that I am one of few students actually there. Everyone who is there are older men and women. I wonder to myself every time, why are there not any students to play golf with? Well, the answer is simple. Penn State golf courses do not have any type of transportation offered to students to get to and from the golf course, and there is an unfair student discount. Many of my friends that golf in the dorms do not want to play because of these problems. The lack of students playing golf harms Penn State golf courses because it results in a loss of revenue. Currently, there are no efforts to get more students out playing on Penn State golf courses. If Penn State golf courses has a shuttle system to pick up students at the edge of the golf course and more of a student discount, they would increase their profits by allowing it easier for more students to play golf. The first step for my proposal is to provide a shuttle system for students who have reached the golf course. I conducted a survey asking people who golf and live in the dorms questions about Penn State golf courses. Many students from the survey take a bus or walk to the course, but they still find it to be a hassle either way. The results also show many of these students golf on the weekend and have to walk directly to the course because the Red Line Cata bus does not have service on weekends. Everyone from these statistics state that they would utilize some sort of a shuttle system provided by the golf course to take them to the clubhouse. The shuttle system would be simple to initiate. Many employees who work at Penn State golf courses are recreation management majors fulfilling their credits by getting paid $8.25 an hour to stand around and basically do nothing. These employees would take a golf cart and pick up students who walk to the edge of the golf course or where the bus dropped them off at the end of the red line loop. Here is a video of me walking towards the proposed pick up and drop off spot for students who choose to walk to the course from their dorms. As you can see, the proposed spot is right off North Atherton Street, so it is very easy to find. Employees would also take students back to the spot they came from after their round has ended. Since the course is never busy, there will always be carts available for picking up students. The solution will cost no money and will give the board workers something to do. It will also benefit students who are tired of walking before and after the round. The next proposed solution involves giving more of a student discount for rounds of golf and renting pool and golf carts. The lack of transportation is not the only thing keeping students away from golf courses. Prices are also too high. According to the other questions on the survey I conducted, many people thought the golf course was not busy both on the weekends and weekdays, so why should there even be a price increase? I took a video of my last round to show that the course is not busy. Here you can see I basically had the course to myself last Saturday. Many individuals believe it is ridiculous that there is an extra $18 upcharge to rent a golf cart and an extra $7 upcharge to rent a pull cart. This results in many people playing golf by walking. To attract more students, the pricing for golf carts will be reduced to $10 for both 9 and 18 holes. The pull carts will be reduced to $2 for both 9 and 18 holes as well. Also, pricing for 9 hole rounds regardless of the day, will be $15, and 18-hole rounds will be $20. For this price changing, I suggest Penn State Golf Courses imposes these changes as a deal for two weeks to see if there is an increased number of students coming to the course. The golf operations staff needs to all come together to agree with the slight price changes. To measure the success, the staff can keep count of how many students come to the course as well as how much money they made off them for two weeks prior to price changes. Then after the two weeks is over, the staff can impose the price changes and do the same measurements for another two weeks to see if there are more golf sales by students. If there is more revenue, the course will implement these changes permanently. If there is not an immediate flow of revenue, the course can discard the price reductions and maybe try them next season but I doubt they'll be out of luck. Also, there will be no extra cost or labor required besides changing the numbers on the website. These two proposed plans will attract more students at Penn State golf courses. All students need is a little help getting to and from the course so they do not get worn out before the round and price reductions.
The pricing is modeled after my hometown courses Springbrook and Neighborbrook because these prices attract many individuals who are 18 and under. Penn State students and anyone who is 18 and under share the same financial status, so the pricing attracts both groups. Some other possibilities that are not realistic include changing the whole Catabus Red Line or having a personal shuttle from the dorms to the golf course. Both of these options are not feasible due to cost and waste of time. My proposed plan is the most feasible because it is the least cost and amount of work to get more students out on the golf course. Swings for Soldiers, Club Golf, and Professional Golf Management make up the only three student organizations related to golf. Hopefully when Penn State Golf Courses imposes these changes, the course will influence more student golf organizations to grow the Penn State Golfing community and add more students playing golf at the Penn State Golf Courses.